often times we are interested not only in the direction of the relationship between the two variables. So we are just not interested uh, to know whether the two variables are positively related or the two variables are negatively related. But we would also like to know the extent of influence of one variable on the other. So in order to measure how to what extent does one variable affect the other variable, we can look at the slope of the line or the slope of the relationship between the two variables. The slope is nothing but the change in the value that is measured on the y-axis divided by the change in the value that is measured on the x-axis. Right? To, to represent change, we, we typically use the Greek letter uh, delta represented by a triangle. So uh, the triangle y would mean the, the variable measured on the y, the change in the variable measured on the y-axis and delta x would mean uh, the change in the value of the variable measured on the x-axis. So slope is nothing but uh, change in y over change in x. So let's um, consider here two scenarios. Uh, first of all, uh, the slope is change in y over change in x, right? And we consider here a situation of a straight line uh, because uh, a curve will have a different uh, strategy to estimate the slope. And on your left hand side, we have an upward sloping line. So there is a positive relationship between x and y, and hence you have an upper sloping line. It's not only positive, but it's a linear relationship. So the slope would remain constant throughout the line, no matter whether you're standing at this point of the curve, or this point of the curve, or this point of the curve, there is one constant slope. That is what it means uh, to be a linear line. And in this case, let's consider any two points, say point A and point B, and slope is nothing but the change in y divided by the change in x. Right? Note that change b is represented here by a triangle, which is a Greek symbol delta. So a change in y over in this case is 3, and change in x is 4. Right? So the slope of this line is positive 3, 4. Note the sign, it is positive. That's important. It's positive because it's upward sloping. The two relations are positively related. And to what extent the slope, uh, to what extent is the relationship? It's measured by the slope 3, 4. The other thing is, uh, look at the change in uh, y or change in x. When your uh, x coordinate is 6, uh, when your y coordinate is 6, your x coordinate is 6. So 6 and 6 and minus Three. And over here, when the uh, y coordinate is 3, x coordinate is 2, so minus 2, right? So it's positive 3, 4. Let's take another situation. Over here, we have a downward sloping curve. So that is a negative relationship between the two variables. So x and y are negatively related. When y goes up, x goes down, and vice versa. Okay, over here also, the slope is measured by delta y over delta x. And the change in y is 3. Okay. Uh, so when you have a y coordinate of 6, the x coordinate is 2, so 6 and 2. And then when the y coordinate is 3, the x coordinate is 5. Right? So uh, change in uh, y is 6 minus 3 and change in x is 2 minus 5 and not 5 minus 2. Note that. Which is 3 over negative 3, which means the slope of this straight line is negative 1. Uh, meaning negative denotes that the two relationships, uh, the two variables are negative related and one means, uh, measures to what extent. So there is a 1 to 1 negative relationship between the y variable and the x variable. The slope of the curved line is a little bit different compared to the straight line. The slope of a curved line has to be at a particular at a particular point on the curve. Okay, so at each particular point on the curve, the slope will be different when you're talking of a curved line. Let's consider that situation over here. So uh, here I have a curved positive relationship or the curved curved line it's not a straight line and hence the slope at 
this point on the curve will be different than the slope at this point on the curve and it will be different compared to this point on the curve and it will be different compared to this point on the curve, right? So at each point on the curve, the slope will be different. That's considered a situation of point A. Let's pick up a point A and in order to know how much is the slope at this point on this curve, you would draw a line that is tangent to that point and then that's that solves the main purpose and after that it's just simply changing y over changing x right it's the same slope formula so over here the slope is changing y over changing x as usual but the point is at point t because the slope will be different at each point Right? So over here, the change in y is equal to 3, and change in x is equal to 0 and 4, so that's 4. So the slope of this curve at this point is 3, 4. 